Hey, Ray, I wanted to show you another way to do it, like I was saying up here above the video. So let me uh, just go into the page and show it to you here. So here is another way you can do this here. I have the sidebar over here to the left, a bunch of content in it. And what's actually better about this way of doing it is that you can put any content you want in the left part because what I did was I created it as, as a section. So I just came in, made myself a new section, and I created it down here at the very bottom. And I gave it a data title of left sidebar. I'll show you that. So I called it left sidebar. And then all the rest of the sections I called right because I had to, what I had to do here is, um, you know, take up the space where the left sidebar was not. So as you scroll down the page here, you can see it's white here because I wanted everything to line up. And yes, she is supposed to be off the screen like that. Um, so all I did is uh, just a couple of very simple lines of CSS. Just come in here and we just say, so our data title of left sidebar, I said, let's make that a width of 400 pixels, height of 100% of the viewport height. So it's going to go top to bottom. And then you're going to position that fixed top left. Zero, zero is obviously up here in the corner. So it just takes the entire element and jams it up here and makes it 400 pixels wide. And then all I said is all the ones that I called right over here, I said, we want to calculate the width on that of 100% of the viewport width minus 400 pixels. It should have been, but in order to get it to look right, it had to be 415. And I'm thinking that's because it must be calculating in the slider on the right hand side over here so 415 is what worked out and then float everything to the right so natively things want to float to the left which meant the, these pictures and stuff would be behind the red but i wanted it to the right and so that's what i got and so that was it this uh, little teeny tiny bit of code here is all you would need to make that thing work out like this. Oh, and what I started to say is the reason why this is a better solution in many ways is because, again, this is a section. So because it's a section, you can have your section, you can put in your rows, you put in your elements, and you got a lot more flexibility by having this be a section versus the other one where essentially I was just using um, one column essentially in this row. So this is actually a um, stronger solution right here.